Hey, this is Mike. I'm at Conway Ford in Conway, South Carolina, and it is my pleasure to present this vehicle to you. A 2015 F-150 Lariat with the FX4 pack, off-road package. It's an amazing jump in design that Ford did with the F-150 in the year 2015. Um, it's probably, you probably heard, it does have an all aluminum body. The body is aluminum, the bed's aluminum, the frame is steel, is a high strength steel. It's a little bit stronger than the previous models. So this is a really interesting uh, design. And you may not be able to tell just by looking at it that it's aluminum, but it is aluminum. And um, it's, a, it's a military grade aluminum, very tough. And it, and it shaves off some pounds, so that way uh, you can add some more to uh, payload and also um, you know get you a little bit get better fuel economy, that kind of stuff. And you'll notice here in the front that this one has quad LED headlights. They actually have the LEDs here, so you know you're going to have some super bright, pure white light in front of you. It also has fog lights. But that's not it. This vehicle has a safety approach lighting all the way around it. Uh, so on the side of the uh, rear view mirrors, uh, side view mirrors, sorry, and also on the back tailgate, there is uh, lighting. So, so when you uh, unlock this vehicle and you're walking towards at nighttime, everything around the vehicle is going to be illuminated with the high intensity LED lights. You see this one has the chrome appearance package uh, on the Lariat, so it has the 20 inch uh, chrome wheels, cr chrome bumper, um, you've got the chrome tow hooks there, you also have the chrome on the, uh, the side view mirrors and all that cool stuff, including the handles. And one of the features this has is remote start, so here's the key for the Ford F-150, so if you can see it pretty good. And so, wait till you see what that button does. <laughs> so it does have to be secure. It's, so we make sure it's locked. All right, so I'm gonna double tap that. And, and I don't know if it's gonna run very long because it doesn't have a whole lot of gas. Um, they're getting ready to put gas in it. So, so you can see it does have a, a glow around the headlights here in the front. And I would love, absolutely love to do a video on this truck at nighttime because I could just imagine all the LEDs lighting up and the interior lighting. Um, I'm just super excited about that. I'm not sure when I'll be able to do it, but as soon as I get a chance, I'll definitely want, want to do that. So I'm gonna use the key to unlock it. Now I could, let me just show you one thing. If I have the key in my pocket, uh, right now the, the truck is still locked, so you can see that the door lock is down. So this has a, a proximity style key to where I can just put my hand here behind the handle and it unlocks automatically. If I want to relock it, I just touch that. I don't even have to push it, I just touch that right there and it relocks. Very sophisticated truck. Really handy and easy to use too. You also have a, you could also use a code if you want to, um, but why bother with that when you can just keep the key on you and, and do that number. All right, so also the tailgate will lock and unlock. No cap for the fuel, putting fuel in it. You don't have to worry about that. Lots of cool stuff here. It does have the, it's reminding right here that it has the blind spot radar uh, right there in the tail light. But check this out. Can't wait to show you this. I'm gonna get the key out. Say I'm walking up to the truck and uh, you see that button right there. I'm gonna double tap it. Yes, yes, yes. You don't even have to lower the tailgate. It will lower itself from a distance. And you can go ahead and throw the two by fours or whatever you had to put in there without even touching the tailgate. Now, of course, you do have to lift it up, but it is assisted. So you can just barely, like one finger, lift it right up and put it in place. It's an aluminum tailgate, so it's not that heavy. And it has the assistance of those um, uh, I don't know if they're springs or what are they are that keep it from falling down so fast. They will also help you um, lift it up. So here in the back, while we're back here, I mentioned the blind spot radar system that's back here. You also have these little sensors uh, for backing up those little round circles 
when you back up and you put it in reverse they will activate and if you get close to something it's going to beep at you and alert you and so you, that way you know um, to pay, pay extra special attention because there is something back there and it's really easy to see whatever's back there because it has a backup camera right here there's one of those uh, LED lights there for illuminating the vehicle around the vehicle sorry now this one has the tow package right here and you have the four and seven way plugs right there which is pretty cool now the FX4 off-road package gives you an off-road tuned suspension um, it also gives you um, like a some stuff on the, the computer and stuff I'll have to show you when we go in there but um, there's a few things that it adds now check this out no side steps open the door now you got side steps so now they're, they're completely out of the way until you need them and and then they're right there and as soon as you shut the door they get out of the way um, and that helps avoid uh, wind turbulence and all kinds of different things now we also have if you need to access the bed of the truck you also have this one right here you just push it in with your foot pops right out so that way you can get up step up there look in the get get whatever you need out of the back of the truck it kind of replaces a wheel to wheel type step and they, they get completely out of, out of your way um, where you're not using them so here on the uh, passenger door you see you've got plenty of storage space you got a bottle holder there plenty of place to just throw junk um, whatever you need to put there papers you know how it is when you get in a vehicle you, you might have stuff in your hand and you just want to set it down and that way it secures it in a place where it's not gonna um, you know get lost or fall out of the truck or whatever so the interior is stunning here's the adjustments for the passenger seat you've got a power um, seat the, the base and the back there, but you also have a lumbar support uh, adjustment there These are heated and cooled uh, Seats here and uh, you can see the perforations there in the leather real tiny ones to um, To accommodate that and I can feel actually a little bit of um, you know it, it, stay, it doesn't stay very hot like say this this smooth leather here um, Doesn't cool off as fast as the, the perforated leather all right so then you got this glove compartment here you also have a little spot up there to put stuff and I like this little spot right here looks like a place to put a pen or something your window controls are real, real high real easy to find right there easy to put your hand on when you're sitting in the vehicle I like that this is a nice touch. It's got the F-150 badge on the inside here. Um, hadn't seen that before. Let's check out the window sticker so you can kind of get an idea of what I'm talking about. Feel free to use the pause button, of course. Alright, so here's the back door. This is the... Um, this is the crew cab truck so it's got a full-size back door here uh, so you got plenty of room look at there plenty of room just as much room as the front maybe you know it seems like more in some ways so the back seat drivers can sit back here and they're not skimping at all on the uh, the features in the door you still have your uh, bottle holder and and storage space you got the wood grain um, trim here very high quality. It feels like real wood. Maybe. Now these seats do lift up and then you got some uh, you know some extra space to store stuff under here. There's the power inverter which I'll show you that what's that that's for pretty soon. Armrest with cup holders. I'll pop out right there. Now, this right here blew my mind. For one thing, well, let me just get past the other stuff. The heated seats, that's good. That didn't blow my mind. Um, the power supply, that was cool. 
this 110 volt Edison plug. That blew my mind. Why? Some other trucks have that. But they don't have 400 watts available. It's 110 volt, but 400 watts. Normally there's way below that. 400 watts is amazing how much, how much you can actually plug into that and use. Um, so that, that just kind of really shocked me when I saw that. Check out that sunroof. I'll show you that in a minute. All right. Let me go ahead and shut that all the way. You see the LED illumination right there and also the cargo light is on. It's all kinds of little lights around this, this truck and, and like I said, I would love to be able to see one at nighttime. So let's get another perspective on this side, just so you can see. It's just kind of a mirror of the other side. These seats fold up as well. You also have some underseat storage right here, so you can put some stuff. Now, on the, on the side mirrors, you can see this little indicator there is letting you know if, if that's illuminated then you, you know somebody's in your blind spot now it does have two mirrors um, so you should be able to see pretty good but that's um, that's a really good feature to kind of have it as, as an extra safety feature and I like the way the, the the window dips down here so you can get some extra view of the ground in front of you as you're traveling so that way um, so that way you just kind of see what's kind of you just, it avoids a blind spot of, of lower down areas. Now I noticed there's a, a sensor there, and that's probably part of the the lane sensing um, feature. It has a lane sensing lane departure warning system. It also has blind spot detectors, so the whole truck's pretty much got you uh, got you covered as far as avoiding hitting stuff. So here is the driver's door this is where the fun begins you notice the engine turns off the um, the remote start only lasts so long and then it'll turn off you can remote start again but we'll do that in a minute so here on the door you've got all the same stuff you saw on the other side speakers and all that stuff it does have a premium Sony sound system which is pretty nice now right here is your door lock controls this one two three that is for the presets for your seat power windows are here you also have um, your side mirror controls and uh, a power folding side mirror I'll show you that in a minute but you can you can adjust your side mirrors by choosing a side and then adjusting it and then you can power fold them in you can turn on the uh, there's like a LED spotlight I haven't seen this at nighttime yet but there's like a LED spotlight on on the um, the side mirrors to where you can you can turn those on uh, at nighttime. That w I would love to actually see what they look like, but not yet so far. Now here's the headlight headlight controls. Those has an automatic setting there. You can also turn it on regular lights on. Parking lights are completely off. Fog lights are you just push this but push it in. May be wrong about the fog lights, but automatic there. This might this is I think this is actually the fog light. Sorry. There's a cargo light here. There's your dimmer switches here uh, for your interior lighting. This is a tilt and telescoping electric column, so you can adjust it right where you want it, and you can also um, you can also set it to get out of your way when you're exiting the truck. All right, so I'm going to hop in. See how quiet it is. All right, let's go ahead and start it up. So let me know it's low on fuel, which I can see that pretty good. And let's aim the air conditioner a little bit away. It's kind of warm right now, so I'm going to leave it on. So here on the steering wheel, 
you've got your cruise control now the cruise control right here it's not normal cruise control it does have adaptive cruise control so let's say you're driving on the highway you got your cruise set then all of a sudden some somebody's slightly slower than you in front of you say you got your cruise set at 70 and this person's driving 68 well you can when adaptive cruise control is on it will match their speed so it'll slow you down to 68 miles per hour now once they get out of the way it'll go back up to 70 but you can using these buttons here you can adjust your following distance so like say if you want to be a little bit closer a little bit further now of course the faster you go the further back you want to be so you can kind of fine-tune your 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 distance from the vehicle in front of you but it'll self-adjust its speed based on their speed because let's say they don't have their cruise set they just like fluctuate from between 65 68 and then they go down to 64 the whole time you're not have you don't have to do anything the, the vehicle will constantly match your speed with their speed so that's a really advanced cruise control system in this truck so on this side you've got your volume control for your radio you can change through the stations here and then you can um, change through like say uh, your inputs so this button right here is AM FM satellite radio and then uh, all the different inputs um, AM FM satellite radio but you also have different input I'll show you those they're, they're, they're audio inputs all right and down here is your you can mute you can mute your radio or whatever but right here is for um, voice recognition so I'm gonna just push that to give you an idea please say a command help main menu say a device name like phone navigation climate USB CD or radio to get help with a specific device say the device name and help like phone help you can interrupt me at any time by pushing the voice button. Phone is always active, so you can say things like, call John Smith, to hear an introduction to your system, say voice instructions, for sync support, call 1-877-945-3648, or see the tips available at www.syncmyride.com. Main menu, say a command. Cancel. Canceling. So that just gives you a kind of a brief idea of what you can do with the voice control. And you notice it's very, it's easy to hear. Uh, it will also lower the volume of the radio while you're doing that. Now, once you pair your phone with the Bluetooth system, you can uh, use these buttons here to make or receive calls and hang up the call. So like say if somebody's calling you, um, the music will dim out and you'll start hearing ringing and then you just push that button and start talking to say hello. Now, to make a call, you push the button and say, call John or whatever, just like uh, the, the system was telling you. And then you can hang up there. These buttons here correspond with this, right between the gauges, is this screen here. And um, so right now it's telling me the fuel is low. So I'm going to hit OK. And so, um, you know, it was, it's in a collision warning uh, setting. So you can go into settings and change stuff. But I'm going to push to the left and get out of that and go into the off-road stuff. So we go to the off-road status. And this is what I was talking about with the, um, the, the package, the off-road package this truck has. You've got some pretty cool stuff. So you've got the articulation, the angle of the truck. Say, so let's say if you're going uphill or downhill or leaning right or left, it'll give you that information there. You can also... Um, is showing your power distribution whether it's in the more in the front more in the back now of course you have to be in four-wheel drive to do to see anything there and the trailer tow you have a special um, this has a special towing uh, ability to where you can uh, when you back up the, the camera will kind of guide you help guide you in but uh, but I'll show you I'll show you that on the camera um, but there is a, the lights and stuff like that. There's a digital speedometer that you can choose like that. That's pretty much a default screen there. You, there's your trips, your fuel economy. You can go into navigation information and, um, and all that. Cool. That's your favorites there. 
So pretty much uh, the, de the default is your digital speedometer, which is that. And then you've got your normal gauges around um, that screen. It does have the push button start, um, which you just have to put your foot on the brake and then push the button there and it'll start right up. Here's your four-wheel drive. Uh, let me move this out of the way. Okay, this is your four-wheel drive switch here. And right now it's a two-wheel drive high. You can choose uh, four-wheel drive automatic, four-wheel drive high, or four-wheel drive low. So that's your options there um, on that knob. There is a, a flat toe feature as well. Now, part of the, uh, the FX4 off-road package is the downhill descent control. And the downhill descent is for off-road use only. Like say if you're in four-wheel drive, you're on loose gravel or something like that, and you wanna uh, go down a hill without you know, sliding too much, this is what that's for. Your traction control, you can turn that off. It's a stability control that keeps your truck straight um, on, you know, dr drive on pavement, or yeah, if you're on pavement, and um, so like say if it's a little bit wet or something like that, uh, it'll keep you from spinning out. You can always turn that off if you get stuck and you need to, you know, spin tires or, or rock it back and forth or whatever, you can turn it off there. Your four-way flashes are here. Uh, the 360 um, view is right here. This is awesome. Because you, because you have the ability to see all around the truck, all around it completely. You can, you can even see the shadow of the truck next to it. So I'm going to cycle through each view. Let's see if I can get a little bit closer in there so you can see it. Oh, sorry. That, and then you've got this right here um, this is the very front camera and so I'm gonna see if it'll stay on now it's not gonna stay on and drive so you've got the front camera and then you can get a bigger view of the front camera now if you put it in reverse then you've got the backup camera but you still have that around view camera there that 360 view which is pretty cool. And it clues you in on to whether your, your camera is facing forward or back there because it can be confusing at times. So I'm gonna just back up a little bit just so you can see that it's actually a live, um, a live shot of the surrounding of the vehicle. And you can see even the cracks in the pavement and everything. So um, that is an awesome, awesome feature to have in a truck. So down here is your uh, some more radio controls. You have a volume here, tune through the stations. You got your presets here and here. Um, now this is what I was telling you about the media. Um, you push that. There's different inputs. So down here you have USB, SD card, and a line in, which is which is an auxiliary input. So when you plug stuff in, when you push media, you can choose which device you want to play through. Also, you can play music through your Bluetooth device like a cell phone, which is pretty cool. Alright, so you have these options here. You got phone on this corner. Search for sync on your device and select sync once it is found. So we don't have a device. Navigation is here. And you can put in a destination or you can view the map. Go back to the home. Entertainment is here. So there's nothing playing, so let's go back home. And then your climate control is here, and uh, you can really uh, get exactly what you want. It does have the dual zone climate control. Um, I can adjust my temperature here. Right now, it's, um, it's controlling both. Now, which is the dual option. Actually, it's not the dual, it's synced. When you push dual, it's the opposite of synced. It's individually, so now when I adjust this, it's not going to adjust that. So dual means dual zone. So you just have to choose that so that way uh, it will be separate. You do have your fan speed here, where you want the air to blow, air conditioning or whatever, um, heated seats. You can also, uh, it looks like my temp, I think that's like saving a certain temperature. I'm sorry about the glare. Sometimes the camera doesn't 
uh, dims, gets too much light and it doesn't show it, but I um, just want you to see that. You do have some redundant buttons down here, and so right now it's in uh, dual climate control, but, um, but so the passenger can adjust their temperature this way, or on the screen, same thing with the driver, and then you've got, um, you know, controlling where you want the air to blow here, uh, the air conditioning, push max and it blasts out. I'm going to turn the fan speed back down. Do you have air conditioned seats or heated seats on the front on both sides? And there's the line inputs, but also right around the um, those inputs down there you do have some storage space and a power supply right here. 12 volt power supply. So there's the shifter, and right behind the shifter, you've got these buttons here. And um, so this is your lane departure warning uh, button. You can turn that on or off. And when you turn it on, you can see a little indicator right here. See that going on and off? Uh, that's letting you know that it's on or off. And then this button right here is for parallel parking. So you can scan. Uh, for a parking spot. Now I'm not sh not 100% how that sure how that works. So um, I don't know, and that's probably what that little sensor is on the side. Um, I'm not familiar with that feature. Maybe that's a new feature. Maybe you can tell me about it. But um, it says it's scanning for a parallel parallel parking spot. Does that mean it parks itself? Possibly. Some vehicles do. All right, so cup holders, place to put some pins or whatever. Now the shifter is here, and I showed you reverse, and then it pops up those cameras there. But also you can continue down. There's drive, no, uh, neutral, and then there's drive. Then there's manual mode, and manual mode is to where you can cycle through the um, the gears with these buttons here. Or you can shift down in case you need to shift down if you're going down a hill. So this button here, I think that is a, a type of um, traction control button there. But I'm not sure. Um, that's another button I'm not familiar with, sorry. Cup holders are back there. Now this big center console is an armrest and it has some lots of space it's got this tray that comes out so I just want to warn you about this when you start loading stuff in there and putting stuff it's gonna get really cluttered and you're never gonna be able to find anything you're gonna lose stuff so keep that in mind with these huge storage bins um, it's real easy to, to, uh, to over clutter them there is a power supply back in here too so you can put stuff in here and charge it. It does have a place for business cards too, which is cool. Alright, so there's your rear view mirror. It is an auto dim rear view mirror, so if somebody's behind you with bright lights, it will automatically dim, so that way you don't get uh, blinded or whatever. So we got all kinds of stuff up here. You've got a little light there. you got both lights on there you can um, turn the the windows off if you wanted to and let's see here let's start with the start with the shade push that now check out this dual pane panoramic sunroof they have and push it again to get it to go all the way back we want to see the whole thing not just half of it so that's a dual pane panoramic sunroof in this truck so now I want to open it up and check it out I want to feel some air outside you can also tilt it too you can tilt it like that or if you want to close the shade you can close it all the way up go ahead and push it again to make sure it keeps on going. Pretty cool to see that in the truck, isn't it? This right here is your powerful uh, sliding rear glass. Yeah. 
place to put your sunglasses is in here and it has like a uh, kind of a soft pad in there to keep them protected there's your home link garage door openers there and this is your visor now uh, it does have lights and a mirror but it does have the ability to telescope out a little bit like so to get in that or just that right spot place for putting stuff now I'm curious to know uh, what would you put there I mean it seems like a handy spot and everything but um, my concern is that you know the, the dashboard gets pretty hot and especially in the summertime so it would have to be something that's not uh, that's not going to be hurt by a bunch of heat directly in the Sun I don't know I see a lot of um, stuff in the dashboard now and, and it seems like if, if you know if there's something you use it for let me know I'm, I'm just not sure what I would actually trust to put up there um, in direct sunlight anyways take a look around all right let's take a look at that 5.0 later Let's look at the what it's rated 21 on the highway considering this the size of this truck and the power that you have at your disposal um, that's pretty amazing and having the six gears in the transmission helps out too all right I'm excited about this truck, are you? If you could, if you have any experience with one of these, a 2015 with the aluminum body, let me know in the comments. And uh, if you're thinking about buying one, if there's any questions you have, um, I'll definitely uh, do my best to answer them. Uh, and of course, this is Conway Ford. It's not very far from Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. It's actually right on the way on 501. So uh, they can hook you up with a truck like this or any, any color you want, any trim level. Uh, so I'm going to leave their phone number here so you can check them out, call them up, and they'll be glad to help you. But I appreciate you watching, and I thank you uh, very much to Conway Ford for allowing me to check out such an awesome, awesome truck. All right, thanks for watching. See you next time.